this was the first song lyrically I wrote uh, for the album. And it's the first song we wrote. We we had a, a demo for this written very very early on, probably after our first EP. We were like, we're gonna save this for the album. Uh, Making waves is about when I was um, I was living in an apartment on my own and I was going out every single night sometimes pretty much just on my own because I just wanted to kind of forget all the issues and everything like that very kind of ironically I would go out and I would drink and drink and drink and then the next morning I would feel ten times worse and that's exactly what the song is about it's about kind of numbing what you're going through with uh, alcohol I guess Number two is uh, What I'm Running From. That song is about when I moved to Barcelona on my own. After all that stuff that was going on with living on my own in an apartment in this small town that we're from, I was like, I'm done with this. I want to go somewhere else where nobody knows me and kind of just start again. So I went to Barcelona and just a suitcase and just stayed with some people I knew and then I, I stayed there for a few months and then got a call from Chris and he said do you want to start a band? So it's pretty much what that, that process of when I was on the plane and the feeling I got when I got off the plane I had no idea what was going on it, that's what that song's about. <laughs> the, title, the title Savannah comes from, um, we're all huge fans of The Office, the US Office, and there's this one episode where they keep saying, there has been a murder in Savannah, and we used to say that so much, and we were like, we have to call a song Savannah. I don't, I don't like naming songs just because it's a funny name, I, like, I was like, it's got to have a meaning, it's got to mean something. So I went online and I looked up what the word, so obviously there's the city Savannah, in America, but there's also a savanna, which I can't really remember now, but I think it's an area of a forest that doesn't grow that well because of doesn't get that much sunlight. Something like that. Someone I know someone's gonna pop up and say that I'm wrong or something. But I was like, that sounds a lot like the town where we come from. Don't get me wrong, I love where we come from, but sometimes as a musician, as a heavy musician, it's really hard to get out of there. So that's pretty much what that song is about. Um, it's about dreaming big and wanting to take your music further. The amount of people that have told me, ah, there's no point being in a band, there's no point doing this because I ah, just go get a job in a cafe, just go do that. And I've, all, I've always been like Chris and Sam, we've always been like, no, nope, this is what we're going to do. Uh, track four is Parasite, and it's Parasite is probably one of the heaviest ones on the album. Parasite is is about that feeling you get when you feel kind of like unstoppable, but in the kind of the the wrong way. I was in I was in a bar, and I remember talking to somebody, and he was saying uh, he was he was crazy. He was just talking about how. He only drinks because it helps him fight and he wants to go out and fight and I was like that's so weird but also kind of interesting and I became really fascinated into kind of the human nature of kind of drinking and then you turn into something else so some people are real lovable and some people turn into you know horrible people that's pretty much what Parasite is about. It's not really, it's not about drinking, it's who we can become, how quickly the Jekyll and Hyde thing, and that's, that's the best way to describe that song. Next is I Remember, and this is contender for one of my favourite tracks we've ever written. And I Remember is about well, it's, it's about if I could go back in time and have a conversation with like myself when I was about 15 and I think we all would love to do this. Uh, I'd be like, mate, there's some parts where it's not good, it gets a bit rough, so be prepared. That's pretty much that about naivety, about when I was 15, I was like, you know, 
really kind of really cocky and really naive and I was like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this and this is gonna happen I'd love to go back and have a conversation with that guy and be like you need to take a seat pal you need to calm yourself down but everything happens for a reason and you know I guess I remember it is looking back and it's uh, when we were younger that's literally a line from the song um, yeah it's about naivety about growing up uh, mentally, physically, and learning to deal with with stuff on your own when things go bad. Uh, next one is Reason to Stay, and this was the first single off the, the debut Beyond Repair, and. Um, I remember we, when we wrote this and we demoed it, we were like, this is it. And we sent it to our manager and Lauren, she said the same thing. She was like, this is the first single. Reason to Stay is about, uh, it's after you cut, the, like the first two weeks after a, like a relationship. And I, what I began to do is I started attaching myself to people, going like, this is the next relationship. This is, this is the next one that's gonna start because I'm totally gonna forget about that, the last thing that happened. And then all of a sudden, I remember waking up thinking, "Oh my God, I'm I'm not ready for this." And the person I'm with is really into this, and I'm not. And I just felt really guilty, just turning around and being like, "This is this is not going anywhere. I'm 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 done with this." Um, yeah, it was a bad time, and a lot of guilt, and let a lot of people down. And I hope the right people hear that song. Track seven is Pulling Teeth, and Pulling Teeth is just about being angry, it's about being mad, it's about wanting to break stuff, it's about wanting to pull your own teeth out because you're so mad. There's no real story behind it, we were like, let's just write a, one with a stinky riff and just some aggressive vocals that, you know, when we play these songs live, it goes off and we love it, so, just about being mad. Uh, next one, Buying Time, is probably the most melodic song we've written. This, to be fair, it's got the heaviest riffs we've ever written, but the chorus is is so, so, I remember hearing it for the first time going, oh, can we get away with this? This is bordering on pop punk, which is, we're not a pop punk band, but it's a real catchy song and we just fell in love with it. The more we listened to it, we were like, this is sick. Um, buying Time is literally, that's what it's about, it's about we're all buying time and um, sometimes I, I think about you know when you buy something you know do I really need this do I really want it how is it gonna affect me and again so relating that to the album theme is when you're trying to get over something you just need those distractions uh, yeah that's literally it buying time Uh, track nine is Bless. Uh, Bless is about just enjoying your own company, just being happy with just being on your own. Um, I've got a real small family, so, you know, obviously we all look out for each other, but we spend a lot of time on our own as well. I'm totally fine with that, and it's what I'm used to. One of the lines from the song is, forget your sympathy. Um, I can live for myself, and that's 100% what I'm all about right at this moment. But, like I said, in the earlier tracks, things can change tomorrow. Man Made Disaster is track 10, and that's the last track on Beyond Repair. And it's just another one like Pulling Teeth. It's just about being angry. And it's a fast song, and it's a song we wrote for like circle pits. And we just, it's just carnage when we play these kind of short, fast songs. Um, yeah, a lot of riffs and a lot of stuff that Chris, Chris really mixed it up when he was writing the, the guitar parts for it. Really te the most technical we've ever been on a song. Uh, lyrically, like I said, it's just being, about being angry. 
kind of puts a nice little bow on the album and all the themes brings it all to a really nice close really nice pretty bit at the start with the, for the guitarist as well